so in this video, I'm using the Zero Trans 12. Little did I know about carbon fiber poles that I would actually enjoy them. So I started off with the uh, black one. I know you guys have seen me in my videos before. Uh, here I'm using the uh, 24 inch uh, high fly water fed with the uh, trad pole and wagtail angle adapter. The angle adapter is a must for wagtail users if you're going to go with this uh, great route work pole. Now you see how I just went down like that? That's because the angle adapter allows you to do that over tables. Now, in the normal circumstances, most people that have this type of tool, I didn't say with all wagtails, only the high flyer, you'll find that having a wagtail angle adapter is necessary with a tool like this because it allows you to go all the way to the ground if you so choose to. Most people would either climb up on the benches or kneel on the benches or cut the window in half, head level, and then finish off by hand. Now that's wasting too much time. You know how much time can be saved by just doing the whole window from top to bottom from when you first started? It's much, much quicker. Now you see how I just swung it up, see with the high flyer and having that wagtail angle adapter, if you start and finish at the bottom, right, like I'm doing now, you close out and if you take the pole and flick it up, you can engage the, the dual pivot action to go into squeegee mode, but you have to get used to that because you don't want to just swing it and then it flops back down on you especially when that nipple starts to wear my nipple is gone like I said the tool works better when you know how to utilize it and you don't even need that nipple that nipple is more or less a training mechanism so you can get used to how the tool moves but you really don't need that in some cases it comes in handy for it not to flip down but I've told you guys, I showed you how to, uh, you know, eliminate that, you know, with a simple mod. Uh, having this pole, this zero trad pole, it's very light. So as you're seeing with that neon sign, I'm holding it with one hand. Having this tool and this pole and a wireless setup like this is one of the quickest and easiest ways that you can blow through maintenance work. The next tool that would supersede that would be a one pass. Now I'm not saying that you could use that for every single job because you very well could. It's just about adapting to the tool. But you will need to agitate in those heavily soiled areas and depending on your method of attacking that determines whether or not it's feasible for you to use such a tool because you could actually really lose time. Before any job, you should always scan your work. Find out what you need. I'm not saying you go into place and then you go back out to the truck, but there's certain things that you know you're gonna need because You've been there plenty, plenty times before, and you've seen it all before. So as you can see, I'm using one hand. Uh, this pole is extremely light to me after using a heavy aluminum pole over the years. I had no idea that I was in for a treat with these kinds of poles. If you're looking for a good trap pole, uh, the Zero Trad, man, it's, it's a very good pull, and I'm not just saying that. As a first-time user, uh, it's easy for me to say that, 
because I've never had a carbon fiber pole until I've touched this. So uh, they're all pretty much in general the same as far as lightness is concerned. But you start to get a little confused and complicated when you start getting into the many different styles and the rigidity of such a pole as far as uh, lightness and maneuverability. Uh, you can't go wrong either way with any kind of car carbon fiber pole when you're comparing it to aluminum. As far as preference and which kind to get, that's just a matter of choice. But I can only speak from experience from this pole that I've been using. And all I can say is fantastic. So if you want to get a pole and you come across my video, that may be enough for you to just choose a zero trad because it's a, a good pole. And not only that, you have cool colors to choose from and you can build on it. You can build on this pole. You can literally add sections to go up to, I guess, 30, 40 feet, which is something I intend to do in the near future because I see the value in these poles. And yes, the price does scare people, it scares me. Now, watch this next move. This is what I see, did you see that? Did you see that? I literally stopped what I was doing and mopped it and then I went back 